Welcome to Cinema's Underbelly, the channel where we dive into the deepest, darkest trenches of the underground to analyze and review the most obscure, obscene, and controversial films that cinema has to offer. I'm your host, Jonathan Doe, and today we will be reviewing Roger Diodato's House on the Edge of the Park. House on the Edge of the Park is a 1980 Italian rape revenge exploitation film directed by Ruggiero Diodato. The film is one of the later entries in a slew of releases that were produced to capitalize off of the success of Wes Craven's 1972 Last House on the Left. Such films as the 1974 Last House in Istanbul, the 1977 Last House on Dead End Street, and the 1978 Last House on the Beach all hoping to cash in off of the popularity of Craven's cult classic. Nearly a decade later, it seems that the producers of The House on the Edge of the Park held similar intentions, going so far as to cast The Last House on the Left's leading man, David Hess, to play the leading role in Diodato's picture. The film centers on a psychopathic mechanic named Alex, played by Hess, and his socially awkward sidekick, Ricky, played by Giovanni Lombardo Radici. The two men invite themselves to a posh gathering in a villa. They initially participate in the party's festivities, but when Alex's sexual advancements towards one of the women is rejected, he turns against the party goers and decides that Ricky and himself are going to get their way with or without their consent. The film was initially rejected by the British Board of Classification upon its initial submission, primarily due to the film's high level of graphic sexual violence. The film later found itself on the Director of Public Prosecution's Video Nasties list, which was a list of 72 films developed by the DPP that were believed to violate the Obscene Publications Act within the UK at the time. In 2006, the BBFC commissioned a group of academics at the University of Wales to conduct research into people's response to films that included scenes of sexual violence. Due to the film's controversial history with the BBFC, The House on the Edge of the Park was included in their studies. Despite this controversy, in December of 2002, House on the Edge of the Park received an uncut DVD release by the American distribution company Media Blasters, under their label Shriek Show. In August of 2016, the film received this uncut limited edition Blu-ray release by Code Red, though the film unfortunately continues to remain cut in the UK. Despite the film originating out of the Last House on the Left bandwagon, this feature does well standing on its own two legs. The film itself is a great standalone home invasion exploitation piece. It has the heavy amounts of violence that Roger Diodato is known for, with the strong acting performances from David Hess and Giovanni Radici to maintain focus between its on-screen atrocities. In the end, if rape revenge and Italian exploitation is your thing, This isn't a title I would pass up. If you enjoyed this review and would like to hear more about this film, make sure to check out the recent interview I did with actor Giovanni Lombardo Radici, who played the role of Ricky in The House on the Edge of the Park. He also starred in Umberto Lenzi's Cannibal Ferox and Lucia Fulci's City of the Living Dead, as well as many other cult favorite films. As always, thank you for watching, and if you liked this video, Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Till next time, this is Cinema's Underbelly.